Marines friends, I'm Shane Badier of the Houston Rockets and I'd like to welcome you again to another enthralling and exciting episode of Hoop Magazine's Tech Review. Where we try to bring you the latest and greatest in innovation and technology every month uh, for your viewing pleasure. We try to have a good time and we try to review things that, uh, that you could use in your own life. I'm borderline OCD when it comes to being clean and being neat. Uh, so this month's blog is going to help me meet that end. And so I would like to introduce to you the Dyson Ball Vacuum Cleaner. Ta-da! You're probably asking yourself, what in the heck does Batty A know about cleaning houses? Well, growing up, um, I always took a lot of pride in keeping a clean house. And you can ask my mother, I, I used to, to vacuum with the best of them. And so even though uh, I may be a little messy at times, I always clean up after myself. And um, this month's product, the Dyson Ball DC25 Model Vacuum, uh, it was one of those things that I was always curious about. Uh, the reason why they call it the Dyson Ball is because uh, there's a ball right here and it helps you to uh, turn on a dime. Unlike most traditional vacuum cleaners uh, that use a four wheel system, uh, the ball design actually is just kind of innovative. It's kind of actually innovative. and. Uh, well, in a second, when we demo it, we'll, we'll show you how, how quickly it turns. As you see, uh, this, this particular model does not come with any bags. Uh, it has a canister, so, which is kind of disgusting. You can see all the, all the filth and all the nasty stuff that uh, you find in your house. This is a bagless system, which is, which is kind of nice. Uh, you don't have to keep getting uh, bags at the store. Or, when you're ready to clean your house for a big party or a big throw on you're about to have, you're like, oh crap, I don't have any bags. Back here, if you look up this handle, out pops a secondary hose. And it has just as much sucking power as the normal vacuum. And you put the attachment on and voila, you have your own auxiliary vacuum uh, to get in the seat cushions and get in the tight spots. There's two mini cyclones going inside this can canister that help separate the dirt and the hair from the, from the smaller particles. And uh, as you can see, uh, on the outside, the larger particles of dirt and dog hair are caught in an inner chamber. The dirt and the dust uh, is collected. Uh, Batty Ace Barbershop. Um, and we're going to kill two birds with one stone today. I'm going to get a haircut. And we're going to test out the Dyson Ball vacuum. I've been giving my, myself haircuts for the last uh, 20 years. And uh, it's pretty easy. Dyson and ball vacuum has done its job. 
Um, I guess my only complaints with this machine would be not really made for someone 6'8". My back is hurting a little bit. You saw I was hunched over trying to vacuum in. It's not the lightest machine in the world. And with all the gadgetry, it is heavier. Uh, with the ball, it makes it a little easier to turn. The suction power seemed uh, pretty strong, and uh, so I like this machine. Uh, I think this has a, ho a home in the, in the Bad Day house, and um, I think that Bruin and Gertie's hair will, will not be an issue uh, in my house anymore. Thank you again for tuning in uh, this week uh, for the Dyson Ball Vacuum review for Hoop Magazine. I'm Shane Battier of the Houston Rockets. I bid you a good night. Uh, be good, dream big, work harder, and we will see you next month in the latest and greatest in technology. Sayonara.